It's GED question of the daytime. And I love this little problem right here because students will say, Kate, hey, why are you making me do fractions? I hate fractions. And yeah, this problem might look like a fraction problem, um, but really, in the end, it's not. Let me explain. So directions say solve the equation for r. Oh, let me get out my pen here. Okay, solve the equation for r. Whoa, why is it not writing? Okay, sorry, solve the equation for r. And uh, just a reminder to everybody that when you solve something, what you're doing is you're isolating that variable. You're getting it alone. I um, often joke that algebra is just a matter of getting the letter alone. That's a lot of what we do in algebra class. Um, so we're solving the equation for r, that means we're getting r alone. Uh, and when I say alone, I mean alone on the side of the equation that he's on. So when you look at an equation here, we've got a left-hand side and a right-hand side on either side of the equal sign. And you can see that currently r is not alone. There's this 3 hanging out with r. Okay, so the three is the number that we have to get rid of. It has to go. And in algebra class, you get rid of something by doing the opposite of what you've been told. Instead of uh, doing what the problem says, you're going to do the opposite. In order to know what the opposite is, you have to be able to read the problem. So let's take a look at this. This currently says r over three. r over three. Now a lot of students stop right there. They're like, what's the opposite of a fraction? Remember what a fraction bar means. A fraction bar literally means divided by. So another way to think about r over three is r divided by three. Well, once I put it that way, it's pretty simple to come up with the opposite of dividing. The opposite action of dividing is multiplying. Now a lot of you students are used to writing what you're going to do right underneath the equation, like writing times 3 right here, times 3 right there. I'm going to ask uh, that you actually don't write it this way in algebra class. Why? I have two reasons. Uh, well, one what reason why is because that's not the way we usually talk about multiplying once we hit algebra class. We stop using that little time sign. Um, and your math teachers won't use it. Instead, what they'll do is they'll take parentheses. They'll enclose the entire left-hand side of the equation in parentheses, and they'll put a 3 up there. Okay, And then uh, the rule of solving equations here, that rule is when you have an equation, you can do whatever you want as long as you do it to both sides. So whatever change you make, that's a change you made. You said, I'm not going to divide by 3. I'm going to multiply instead. So whatever change you make, you must do to both sides to keep the equation balanced. And so since I multiplied uh, the left-hand side by 3, I am also going to multiply the right-hand side by 3. Again, I'll enclose the entire thing in parentheses, and I'll multiply by 3. So I told you I'd give you two reasons for doing that with parentheses instead of a little time sign. Uh, one reason is because that's the way it's going to appear on the GED or in your math classes. You have to recognize what's going on. you got to be able to speak my language symbolically. Uh, but second reason, per, remember what I said, we're multiplying the entire side by 3 on both sides. Students who just write times 3 underneath will um, disobey the rules of multiplication. And instead of passing it out and multiplying everything by 3, they often drop um, and don't do the math in the proper way. And I'll just leave it there for now. But I promise you, to prevent errors in the future, let's use these, this parentheses method. Okay, now let's see what happens after I times both sides of this equation by 3. Well, on the left-hand side, multiplying by 3 and dividing by 3 are opposites, and so they cancel out. And what I'm left with is just one single solitary r, an r. Um, and then on the right hand side, that's the math to do. Do the math you said you were going to do. You said you were going to take 9 and multiply by 3, so do that. 9 times 3 is 27. And you can see that that's a lot simpler problem than it looked like. That is the answer. My letter's alone, and so R is 27. I've solved the mystery of R. Great. If you have any questions about that, be sure to drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them.